Look like a match made in heaven, this beautiful high society horsewoman, only daughter of a wealthy oil man. And John Hill, handsome, dashing, uh, plastic surgeon at the top of his profession. And they had a beautiful house, and John loved music. So they had musical evenings, and I heard about them, and I thought, how nice, it sounds wonderful. She loved him, absolutely. And she was thoroughly blind to what he was up to. And he was having affairs on her. I'm a firm believer that uh, John killed her, and he killed her for her money. Did you think it was murder? We just thought it was normal, that, that she had had some great tragedy, some kind of stomach problem. Joan Hill died of a mysterious illness back in 1969. But later, the headlines said otherwise. Hill was accused in Joan's death. And then, of course, everybody's jaw dropped. You had a plastic surgeon in River Oaks who allegedly arranged the death of his wife, who was a beautiful woman and a horsewoman and known in society. I started at the post. Mm -hmm. I heard the call go out, DOA. Drove over to the house on Kirby, the mansion there. Somebody shooting at John at the house. John is there in blood. It's something I'll never forget. The events that led to the death of John Hill are as vague in meaning as the speculation that has arisen from the evidence that was left behind. At 7.30, the evening of September 24th, a man is said to have forced his way into the Hill home. And when they arrived, they found Hill's body lying on the floor with a gunshot wound to the head. I can only give you my opinion who done it. Ash Robinson did it. Ash was a very colorful Houston oil figure. He was reputed to have hired a madam to arrange for the murder of John Hill uh, in order to retaliate for what he perceived as the murder of his daughter. And it was a big story, a big scandal, and uh, the whole thing. It's the death of a dream. You dream when you get married, you're going to live happy ever after, and people tell you that's true. We know it isn't, <laughs> but you hope for it.